the way medical costs are going, not the way general revenue is going. Because with general revenue, it doesn't rise as quickly. And once there becomes a money situation, you are dealing with rationing. And this is what concerns us, is rationing and denial of care. Because, I mean, I don't even know this is money. Rationing says, we're just not treating people who are a certain age, who have a certain condition, who have a certain past history. Then, when they deny care, they, it isn't across the board like racially. It's an individual. Well, you need a hip transplant, but you know, you're not really very physically active anyway, so well. That kind of And unfortunately, the shortage of money is a drive and Massachusetts is becoming short much more quickly than the rest of the country because of the higher health care system. Like why pro life is involved? How is pro life involved? Because of the racial and denial of care. Our mission statement in Massachusetts is for life is to work to protect life at all stages of development from conception to natural death through legislation, political, educational, what have you means. So we're talking about anyone whose care would be rationed or denied. And, and we're very concerned about that, and that's one of the main concerns we have about the Let me get back on, on, on abortion. Well, Massachusetts is very different in that case from federal. Because historically, the federal government has not funded abortion. And in Obamacare, there was a lot of abortion funding. In Massachusetts, in the early 60s, the Supreme Judicial Court found, they said, that the Massachusetts Constitution required that we fund abortions. So since then, Massachusetts has been paying 100% of Medicaid abortions, whereas most states haven't been paying any abortion. So we're already paying for Medicaid abortions. Under the Commonwealth Connector, there are people who wouldn't have been eligible for Medicaid whose abortions are now being paid for. And that is with tax money. There's a difference between tax money and private insurance. Um, they, in the past, they were probably covered with private insurance. Right now, they're being paid with tax money. And we know that people don't want their tax money being used to pay for abortion. But as I say, because of the court ruling in Massachusetts, it's not the same equation at all as it is nationally. Do so you view this law as anti-life? Um, we're looking at it much more in the sense that the way it's constituted, they're going to have to deny care. It could be clear to the unborn, clear to a pregnant woman, clear to people with disabilities. They're going to be denying care, and that's the whole life of the story. Who's denying this care? Who, who's doing the rationing? Well, it's actually mostly the state, because they're covering, I think it's three times the poverty level. A family of four it can have an income of like $64,000 and still come under this Commonwealth Connector. I'm not positive of that, but it's much larger than you would think. And so anyone who comes under the Commonwealth Connector, but there's another connection. We lost our health insurance, my husband and I, um, last fall, because Governor Patrick put price controls on premiums, and the insurance companies could not function. So they had to drop the plans. So it isn't just the state money that causes rationing. Um, I have a neighbor who had the same health plan we did, Harvard Code. And they're in the middle of cancer treatment, and they were they didn't know what was going to happen. They were able to find something else. But this was state imposition that caused private health insurance to have to make rationing decisions. Are there any Well, um, I hope it wasn't here before. Well, the New York Times started writing it up in August of 09. Suffolk, I forget what they call their institute, but they just put out a huge report saying that it's running out of money, it's going to have to cut back. All the things I say are in that report. Who's, who's, sorry, who's funding this? Well, we are Massachusetts citizens for life, and um, we haven't paid, spent anything yet. Um, when we did, um, when we worked against Obamacare, we bought radio ads and um, internet ads, and possibly that's what we'll do again. I don't know. The first thing we'll do is go to our 200,000 members and get our signatures. And 
I think the only cost of that is coffee and cake. It's obviously signature law signed by the Voters question his pro life credentials, even if he's the author of the law and still defending it. It's quite strong. No, they shouldn't question his, his pro life credentials because, as I say, when the law was first passed, I mean, we all we thought it was going to be a wonderful law that would really help people and provide them with medical care. And it's not the basic premise. The basic premise is that everyone should have the best medical care possible. It's the fact that it was set up and truthfully cut. The fact that it's it's working the way it is and it's not working. So Mitt Romney met very well when he started it. Um, we are just concerned right now with the way it's going. He's still defending it though. He still says this is the right thing. I mean, can make you say this is actually the denied care of this one. Um, that's up to Mitt Romney. I have no problem with Mitt Romney. If he's the nominee, we will back him to the hill. And we are trying to do something to change, first of all, Obamacare, and then the Obamacare um, in Massachusetts. That's a very good question. Um, actually, he's running for president, which will have nothing to do with the state. Are very similar, and that's why we can work on both of them at that same time. But it has nothing to do with him personally. Just as Obamacare has nothing to do with Obama personally, it's the system or the law that we're concerned about. It's a huge effort because the people who signed it have to get voter certification from their town halls. We discovered last night that out of 20 people from across the state, only eight town clerks did right. So today we have to go back to those town clerks and say, you only put one signature, the law requires four. Now they get they get a training session. The state sends people out to the And our people went in, innocent citizens, I need my certification. And we're not the only ones doing this. So it's happening to them. And so we haven't had time to do anything else. And as I say, I don't really see it. I, I personally bought the name of the website because of the button dogs. Um, that's always been for money. You can do it on the Right. Um, yes. And so I don't really see expenses until maybe at the time next summer. And we're very fast. You don't think pro life voters in Iowa and New Hampshire should take a look at this and say, I think that they should look at it and they should say which candidates are opposed to Obama because our Massachusetts law isn't going to affect them except as it's a prototype. So what they need to be doing is to say which candidates are opposed to Obama. This is his record though, they should look at his record. I know, but where we are now, these people are running for president. 